Beautiful day today, a nice change and comical even that it felt warm. <laughs> yes. Certainly brought a so, smile to my yeah. face. It's all relative, right? That's it right. Is. Well, you think about it, we were 15 to 20 degrees milder today, and when you take out the wind, you add the sunshine, it really feels nice, and it's still a beautiful late afternoon and early evening. Temperatures in some spots were close to 50. Look at Newport, blue skies and sunshine. Take a look outside. It's uh, still clear, actually clear to partly cloudy, depending on your location, but otherwise uh, dry and quiet. Looking at temperatures now that are in the middle to upper 40s. Looks good in Providence as well. And, and there's Newport in the harbor right now with the uh, blue skies and temperatures uh, middle to upper 40s. Uh, high temps today. Almost 50 in some areas, a lot of 49s showing up, including Providence. Now, we're going to be trending cooler tomorrow and then eventually colder by Friday and the weekend. You know, March and April is really kind of an up and down month. You get a lot of temperature swings where it's cold one day, mild the next. So here's the breakdown. Dry skies for tonight and trending colder, actually cooler for tomorrow. I wouldn't call Thursday a cold day, but notice it'll be colder by Friday and through uh, the weekend and fairly quiet. Now, March can be a stormy month. We've had notable nor'easters and snowstorms during the month of March, but next five to seven days, we're going to continue to be very quiet and precipitation free. Mid 40s in most areas, including 47 in Providence. Newport's a little cooler at 43. Skies are partly cloudy to the north and mainly clear south, so quiet really all across New England. Just some heavier clouds north of the Mass Pike, but really not much going on as far as a stormy weather. Tracking this cold front, the leading edge of slightly cooler air that's on the way for tomorrow. And you can see the shading of blue in the upper part of the Great Lakes and a piece of this cooler air arriving tomorrow. There is noticeably colder air in southeastern Canada, and that actually arrives for Friday and the weekend. Unfortunately, those three days, the temperatures will be running uh, below average. So we're getting real close and we'll walk you through it hour by hour. Just watch the time bar right up in here and a quiet night under dry skies looking at temperatures dropping down to the upper 20s to low 30s by around 6 7 a.m. Your Thursday looks OK. A couple of things you'll notice for one, the breeze picking up during the afternoon and temperatures will be cooler looking at uh, highs in the upper 30s to around 40 41. But overall, it's a nice day for this time of year. By 6 o'clock in the evening, it's in the lower 30s. And then later tomorrow night at 11 o'clock, colder. In fact, by 11 o'clock, it's already down low in mid-20s at that time. So for tomorrow morning, sunshine. Uh, the breeze picking up a little bit, so we'll call it breezy, cool, and dry. Uh, by noontime, we're up to around 40, but not much higher than that the rest of the afternoon. About uh, generally 40, 41 degrees uh, for the afternoon high, but overall, it's pretty good for early March. All right, seven-day forecast. Uh, colder on Friday and windy, too. High temperature, only 35, and even with sunshine on Saturday, uh, you know, the temperature's kind of struggling in the lower to middle 30s, still kind of a gusty breeze. Sunday is dry and chilly, and then temperatures start to moderate into the 50s by Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's sort of the, the uh, roller coaster ride this time of year. We get a lot of ups and downs with temperature. One thing that we feel confident with the next five to seven days, it looks dry. Brian and Mike.